you to show you how I am preparing my new brake discs for the phaser FZ1 and the reason for the replacements is the original ones are obviously the pitted and very well worn something must have got onto the pads themselves onto the face of the pads and as they've been used it's dug into the face of the disc now I bought myself a full set of second hand slash near enough brand new not even worn in originals and they come like so basically black in, inside standard outside but I'm going to turn them into gold inserted ones like so which will improve the look of them massively if I can quickly show you that's what they're going to look like they're going to go from that to that which is an improvement and it just adds a little bit of colour because the only colours that there are on this bike now at the moment really is the actual dark grey gunmetal grey and black obviously this, the, the um, wheels are silver but I want to go gold, silver and black and I might even paint up another item or two eventually just to turn it off a little bit but that's how I am going to go now preparation is basically going to be first of all removing the clear coat from the paint all the way around every little nook and cranny every little bit that you want to paint you need to remove the clear coat you can do it by pad or sometimes more efficiently is going to be a 800 wet and dry so basically all you want to do is rub down clearing off all the surfaces until it goes a dull colour. Once it's gone dull, then you know your clear coat's gone. You're down to the original paint. And from there, go to the next step. Okay, okay now, as promised, here we are, we're back again. With everything taped up. <coughs> Didn't take quite as long as I thought it was gonna be, maybe half an hour or so. It's all clean, I'm ready for the first coat of paint which is going to be a primer this, in this case this is a straight grey primer shake the bottle up or the can up so we say there we go, we're mixing the second coat or the main coat Rover Cashmere Gold which after have you seen a coat of what is clear coat turns out like that which is all I'm, here, all I'm after and when you're spraying basically the first coat is going to be a very simple dust over making sure that you're not overdoing it because all this layer does is basically throw a few spots on it to allow then something else to grip to which will be the main heavier coat after so as far as I'm concerned that's that and to help it along its way I have also got a 
it could be a hairdryer or just a heat blower, heat gun, go over it, send it tacking, don't dry it out, send it tacking, just so it's on the verge of drying out, and then that gives it a good tacky surface for the rest of it to hold on to, and because there's so many nuts and crannies, you need to make sure that they're all covered as you go along. It. This is going to be wet coat on wet coat, there's no messing about. And now, what you want to do is do exactly the same, getting into all the nooks and crannies. Not going thick, the technique is thin layer by thin layer by thin layer. That is a decent coat of primer. Now where we go with the gun. Now what I suggest, if you do it in an enclosed space like this, I've got a mind of its own that gun. If you're doing it in an enclosed space like this, garage door, main doors are wide open, and also avoid any overspray. For example, on the bike or anything, everything else is covered up. On a nice day I would normally do this outside just on a hook, but it's not a nice day, it hasn't been a nice day, and quite frankly now it is getting chilly, so, back with a heat gun, because the laser's so thin you can get away with just a short blast of heat, but it gets to where you want to be. Now, the coat of main colour, again apply the same dust, dust coat to start with and then one or two more layers to get full covering of slightly slightly heavier coat and away you go onto the clear coat afterwards so that starts again dust coat just so you can just see the grey through, through still, and again back on with the dryer. No, it went for a bird in then, that would be interesting. Now this is obviously not gloss paint, you are using gloss paint, it has its own clear coat in it which then rises to the surface on drying so you do not then need a clear coat over the top. But this will need a clear coat for extra protection. Right, where we go. Could be about it there. Doesn't need to be thick at all. Just get it on and get it covered. I think that's it. That will do, I think. What I need to do then now is bit of the heat and then leave it on to the clear coat now this is where you get the nice shiny finish from 
very cut. The lacquer is the most important layer because paint's only a colour. Paint on its own will not protect unless it's got a lacquer in it or a lacquer coat over the top. Once the lacquer's gone off, rock hard, that's where you get your protection. Now, one of the trickier pieces things to do is paint to one side, a bit of a heat gun on it just to tack it over, just in case we touch it. The next stage it will not run off. But you don't want it too too dry at all, because when we start removing the masking tape, it wants to be a little bit tacky. You see, you've got a little bit of pull and a bit of twang elastication on it. It's on. Something that's not gonna. Perhaps let's just keep hold of it for now. Gloves off. That might be a bit easier. Because what we need to do is peel. If you leave this too late and it dries on, it will dry hard onto the masking tape itself. And the chances are it's just going to peel away at the paint as you do it. So, this is a bit that's more important. As you can see, just peel away, pull it away from the paint, a bit away from what's just been painted. There you go, that's your first side. Second side. That's it, last little piece and then we are, we're done. Bearing in mind it's still wet, that's what you end up with. Nice gold. floating front disc and what I do now is I have a hook throw it through there and you can hang it over something you hang it over a radiator uh, anything but what I'm going to do now is hang it over a fire which I've got down here It's just on a finish. So that fire on is on. It's not going to stay on. But what it is, it's on. So even after I turn it off for 20 minutes or so, the heat will still keep rising. And it will basically just set the clear coat or lacquer, if you like. Set it hard. End up with a second one of these. together on the front of the bike replacing the knackered ones ready for the nice weather which in the UK can be at any time of the year if ever and uh, away you go Put, refit the pads pretty much brand new I've got a rear spare one there if needs be you know, if I was going to paint that, all I'd basically do is just tape round 
the outside of the main disc face and sp just spray the inside of it. But I think there's any need for that now. The one that's on it is very good, so I hope that's been a worthwhile video to, for making and you've enjoyed it. And that's me done for the day, so I'm going to lock up. Wish you well uh, and see you on the next vid. Cheers. Thank you.